Hello guys and welcome in this video where I'm gonna show you how to build this contraption that is able to move all by itself and going down to the bedrock layer to mine all the resources that you need. And this is fully automatic, this is expandable also and um, you can add an item sorter. So this one isn't with a sorter but I have another version just right here that have also this order. So as you can see, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. And yeah, let's jump into it. So take some height and place all your chassis down. I will make one of three blocks by five. And now you can glue all of them except the one that you will put the pulley on, just right here. So the pulley needs to be on the side and in a corner. And also you can glue all the bottom part and put all your mechanical drill. Okay, now we can put the chest to stock all the items and all the, all the blocks that it's gonna mine, just like this. And finally, you need to get uh, to, to have two block space for just an observer with a redstone link. So the observer must be in this position and the red point must uh, point towards this, um, this redstone link. And just set a frequency I will use. I, I guess I, I used it already, so I'll put um, a shaft inside it for the frequency, yeah. So this is the transmitter. Now you can put a linear chassis just above the pulley and you need to glue it this one on the in the bottom part. So just put back the pulley and now we can start to add the mechanical piston also in this position going towards this direction. And now you can just simply put um, one shaft here and here you, you put a gear shift. Um, no, sorry, it's the contrary. The gear shift is gonna come here. And here you can put your advanced, I mean, your sequenced gear shift, just like so. Yeah, and now you can put your belt every three blocks, I mean, your shaft, because um, my contraption is three blocks wide, so I need to put one, uh, one shaft every three blocks to power it every time it moves. But if you make it five blocks wide, we're gonna just basically need to put one every uh, five blocks. So yeah, just like this, you can destroy this. And now you can put your belt on them. So try to, to get the maximum length this is this one, you can see the, the green particles and this one is doing nothing. As you can see, it's limited in, uh, in distance. So you can just continue it by adding just three shafts and one little bit like this. And yeah, you can just continue it just like this. Now you can, I mean, you have to <laughs> put the piston ext extension pole behind the, the piston also. So you can put it as long as you want, but the maximum is 64. So I will make it up to 40, yeah, for example. And finally, just put three shafts like this, link them with a mechanical belt. And this is gonna be our inputs, I mean, power inputs. And you have to put a gearbox because uh, the signal will be reversed otherwise and it needs to be powered counterclockwise that is very important uh, otherwise the the pulley will go down and the contraption will not work uh, with my redstone circuit so now for the redstone just put some blocks like so with redstone dust and a classic redstone repeater with one adjustable and also a 
uh, to the latch and a pulse repeater and that's all what you need with of course the redstone link so just place this repeater like this on the vortex just place now the pulse repeater like this three redstone dust and now now three blocks like this put the latch like this the adjustable repeater and now you have to set a time uh, on this repeater that is also depends on the, the the size of your contraption so for me it's only three wide so i put it to six seconds basically it's just one wide for two seconds and finally the rest of link uh, it was uh, a shaft inside it i guess for the frequency one and finally you put it on receiver mode just like this so shift uh, plus right click and it makes it it makes appear this kind of plate around it and i just forgot to mention something is that you need to to put this sequence gear shift with these parameters so put it in piston mode with the distance related to the wide of your contraption from its three blocks again and finally the direction and to know the direction you need to try it out by yourself with a lever or a button it also works i'll just set it to off and you can try out the, for the direction so this is the wrong direction because it's not moving and if i reverse it it's still not moving because there is no power <laughs> okay now we're gonna place <laughs> Our water wheel, sorry. <laughs> With some water like this. Um, so yeah, just make it the most efficient design. You can do like this. The same on the opposite. And put your water above it, just like this. And now you can see it's moving and it's going in counterclockwise that's very important so now we can try for the direction of the sequence gear shift so this is the wrong direction it's not moving and if i put it in forwards instead of reversed it's working so yeah it's going uh, three blocks uh, away you can make it come back by just reversing the, the arrow and powering it just like this so my configuration will be like this but you need to try it out to find yours by yourself i mean just the the direction of this arrow now we can remove this um, this lever and that's all we can turn it to receiver mode again and yeah basically it's finished you just have to toggle this uh, lever on and let's go and it's starting a new cycle again and going down for the next section So I'll show you now how to make the item sorting system. Uh, just keep two chests, these two like this. You need to put them on linear chassis that, oops, sorry, <laughs> that are also glued with super glue. Yeah, just like this. And now you can put your chest on them. If I have some, no. Like this and now you can put some belts i mean one belt with shafts sorry i have too many items in my inventory uh two shafts just like this with one belt to link both of them and finally a gearbox like this and no sorry a shaft like this going in this uh, direction because it needs to be powered by also this main belt 
So yeah, you got it. You need to add one shaft every time on your belt. Every time it stops, it needs to be powered. So every three blocks. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, until the end. So here it is, the belt is going in the right direction. And now we're gonna add just brass funnels like this. And we can set it with the wrench in the, the right direction also. So you, you can see this little arrow, it's going out of the chest. So now every time it stops, the, the items are going on this belt and that will go uh, straight forward in this way, in this direction, and we'll put a chest at the end, but you'll see the trick. Um, I need one block, like this, with a funnel like this. And don't touch the funnel because it depends on the direction of the belt. And when it's reversed, all the items are going out. And, and when it's in this direction, they are all going inside of the chest. So, uh, yeah, you will need just one little modification on this uh, redstone system. And just take one adjustable repeater and replace this one and you can put it to the time you want and this will be the time that will allow the contraption to sort all the items out of the chest so i recommend you to put at least 50 seconds uh, i mean uh, 20 sorry <laughs> and at every cycle before going further and keep uh, cycling again it will just stop for 20 seconds sort all the item out of the chest and um, yeah going to to cycle again and so all the items will will go out of the chest here will come here and we'll just get them with a simple chest and brass funnels like this uh, you can just put one actually it's enough one like this so in the initial position it will also sort the items and yeah you can just add some hoppers some shoots under it and uh, having a better storage like for example this yeah and so on and so on and that's it guys so i'll show you how it works so i'll just break down this block start the toggle latch so it takes some time because of this repeater set to 20 seconds now. And you can put back the block after you toggled it on. And just wait and I'll show you how it works at the end. So as you can see, it has finished mining and all the items will be took out of the chest on the belt and will be stored not inside of it, I don't know why it's, uh, it's not going inside even if it's just in front, but it's going all along these belts until um, they are going in the chest and I will be able this way to show you how uh, when the contraption is going down for another cycle, uh, how the belt is going, yeah you can see it now, is going reversed and now all the items can go inside why it's not going inside um maybe it's not in the right mode oh yeah that's why look the 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 arrow on the on the funnel must go inside of the chest and not outside obviously so now it works and the machine is going down for another walk so not this one because it's have already been done before, but for the next one, it's just gonna go up again and down and cycle and cycle again. Anyway, this was my first English video, so I'm sorry for the lack of vocabulary. I hope you won't blame me too much. And uh, if you liked it, feel free to, to like the video. And if you have any question, any comments, uh, you can post anything in the comment section and I will reply you. And also, um, if you want to see more concept, more 
machine contraption, you can just post all your ideas and I'll see if I can do something. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.